What's up, everybody? And by everybody, I of course mean Gary's Mod members only, because this only applies to Gary's Mod and Gary's Mod maps. Anyways, you guys know how, like, whenever you upload a Gary's Mod map, you gotta make it like a GMA file, a JSON file, a bunch of weird folders, you gotta do stuff with the, the thumbnail if you're using one. Please use one, by the way. And the map file, and this and that. Well, I got sick and tired of that. I also got sick and tired of people asking the same question on that one tutorial that I made. So I decided to go ahead and make a little program that, you know, kind of automates this, uh, all this stuff for you. Let's go ahead and compile it, and I will demonstrate it for you all. So, obviously, you gotta have a place to, uh, to store the GMA file whenever it's been, you know, compiled or created or whatever. I like to use the desktop, so I added a little button to just go ahead and use the desktop. Obviously, you also gotta get your compiled map file, or the BSP file. So let's go ahead and grab that. And if you are using a thumbnail, you don't have to use a thumbnail, but if you are using a thumbnail, you have to go ahead and grab that. Now, the best part is the name doesn't matter because of a later step, like the next step. So you can see, obviously, this doesn't say spawn room template. So, you know, obviously that wouldn't work if we just used it as is. So we go ahead and go to this map name here, and then we do, let's just do G M P P H test map. That's great. Gmod pre-publishing helper test map. And then, of course, we've got gmad.exe. Now, you can go ahead and browse to Steamapps, Common, Gary's Mod, Bin, and then Gmad, or you can just press this default path button, and it goes to the exact same place. I have this here just in case you don't have it on your C drive or if it's in some strange location or whatever. And then we got the JSON files here, or I guess the, the tags, I mean. You ahead and choose two. Now you can do zero tags. It works somehow, which is kind of weird to me. But I go ahead and choose one or two. We're going with fun and realism because that's what this spawn room template, of course, is. Now you've probably noticed the little custom content thing, and like it doesn't do anything yet. This does not pack whatever custom content you have. You still have to use, you know, Vide, PackRat, CompilePal, BSP Zip, GUI, or just BSP Zip. You know, you still have to use those programs and pack it. Now, thankfully, it's still, you know, it just does it in the BSP file, so you can just choose that and it'll work just fine. But it doesn't do that, unfortunately. I could barely get the JSON thing to work. It, I don't know how I did it in the end, but it works, I want to say, perfectly fine, but I'm sure someone will find a bug out there that breaks it. But it works fine enough. And I haven't even started on this yet. I've it's just, I don't even want to think about that process, even though, like, it's the next thing I have to do, according to my Mila Note page or project or whatever. Anyways, when you have that done, you click this little button right here, and it'll tell you if it created successfully, or, you know, if you don't do that, it'll tell you that. Huh. All right, let's just ignore that. If you have something that's empty, it is supposed to. It's supposed to tell you that uh, you know you have a a bug. It, it'll tell you that like a, you know a directory is invalid or something. God, I was not expecting that. Anyways, once you have that GMA file done, let's actually go ahead and open up add-on.json so you can see everything in it. Fun realism. It's there. Thank God. There's just like this ignore thing. I'm not sure what any of these file types are, but I'm not even messing with it. Also, I just realized that's there when it's not supposed to be. But there it is. There's the name of it that you used in map name, and then there's the, the type. Obviously, it's going to be a map. That's what this is for, mapping only. Maybe one of these days I'll, you know, have a different, you know, add-on types. But for now, it's just maps. And then after that, we go ahead and go to Crowbar, which is, like, objectively the best program for uploading Gary's Mod Maps to the Workshop, and then as you can see, we got all of these, all three maps I've uploaded to the Workshop, not a whole lot, I barely work on source mapping anymore, but let's go ahead and do the title, GMPPH test map, there we go, and then you have test map using the tool Gary's Mod Pre-Publisher. Helper. There we go. And then we go ahead and grab the GMA file from this button. There it is right there. And then preview image. This is for the workshop, not for Gary's mod. 
and then we're just gonna use that one because I'm lazy. Let's go ahead and do map, and then we'll do realism and fun. You're probably wondering why do I have to do it on here as well. I have no idea. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I mean, they said to do it on the face punch website, so I did it in the program. I'm really hoping that I didn't waste my time getting the JSON thing to work properly, because that, that library has caused me so many problems, and I really hope it wasn't for nothing. But we're going to go ahead and publish this. All right, let me go ahead and, oh, and of course, as soon as I get my drink, it's done. <sighs> Damn, that's some good shit. All right, let's go ahead and open up Workshop, and go to my files. And then go to, here it is, GMP8, GMPPH test map. Haha, <laughs> PP, that's funny. <laughs> God, I'm immature. <laughs> Let's go ahead and subscribe to it. And then uh, open up Gary's Mod here. Now, I did a little test earlier with this, and it told me something like add on two new for like old API or something. It was so bizarre. Oh, thank God it worked. Okay, it worked this time. I don't know if that's a problem with Crowbar or. Uh, you know, Gary's Mod or something like that. There it is. I'm go ahead and uh, go to my add-ons, actually, and I'm going to turn them all off because load times, well, load times aren't really an issue, but just stupid pop-ups and all that. So here it is in the other. And obviously it's got the uh, the thumbnail on there. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot. F okay, that's a lot faster. Wow. Yeah, that is... Let's play music. I know it. Okay. Just for some context, I literally tried this earlier, and this thing wouldn't play. I already had Counter-Strike Source. Like, I already went into here, and I checked... This was already checked, and it wouldn't play for some reason. Weird. Oh, right, and there's that. Let me go ahead and press the suicide button. And then, obviously, with that, the credit... This was used for OK Horror Map and Epic Horror. It wasn't used in Epic Horror Map. This was made after that. But yeah. Go ahead and disconnect from there. That's basically how this tool works. It's literally that simple. Like, you have to have negative IQ for this to even be an issue. Now, all of this stuff is on uh, GitHub right now. I, I update it. It's not necessarily regularly. Like, if there's, like, a bunch of bugs, then, you know, it gets a lot of updates. But... You know, I'm still working on it somewhat. Obviously, it's slowed down now that it's basically, like, like I don't necessarily like, need to do the custom content thing. I want to get that done eventually, but you could technically consider this like a 1.0 release because it, it, it accomplishes its job. Like, it gets the GMA file, and that's really all I ever, you know, set out to do. So, yeah, I guess I technically accomplished that. So, it's going to slow down, you know, progress on here is going to slow down just a bit more. Mainly just because there's like one more feature I have to do. Maybe I'll do something with the UI because, you know, I really wish it would scale. I mean, I don't, I don't see why. I don't know what the purpose of it scaling would be. Just, I don't know. Just, uh, I'd like to try to do something with the UI. Definitely with uh, text alignment. If anyone knows how to do text alignment in Windows Forms and C Sharp, uh, hit me up on fucking Discord or Steam or something. Much appreciated. But yeah, that's all I've got. Go ahead and check it out on GitHub. Give me some feedback.